Eastern's Automotive Group will find the perfect match for your growing family. With over 1,000 vehicles to choose from, all at your fingertips at easterns.com. Eastern's has been the leader of quality and innovation for over 25 years. Haverty's Furniture helps your home look perfect, even when life isn't. Nice pick. Pops, your pick. Art Luck. Retired. I'll take you over to these fools playing today. Oh, come on, man. That's not how this game works. Art Luck. Who done changed my name to Hot Mama? Lame. You're lame. No, I'm not writing down somebody who's retired. Baby, I'm changing my name to Hot Mama. That's not how this works. Baby, Art Luck. Write it down. The New Year Savings Event is on now at Haverty's. Life looks good. I didn't realize how bad my smile was with fillings and root canals. I had to do something. I looked at partial bridges. I looked at dentures. Out of all the options, Clear Choice was the only choice for me. At Clear Choice, we bring hope to millions who suffer from missing or failing teeth with dental implants that look, feel, and function like strong, natural teeth. All the specialists with all the technology they need are in one spot. It makes delivering this 21st century world-class dentistry very easy to do, and we do it in one day. I can laugh, people crack a joke, and I smile. It was a life-changing thing. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation and ICAP 3D imaging scan. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. They not only helped to rebuild my smile, but helped me to rebuild my self-confidence. They really set me free. I mean, look at this smile. At Clear Choice, you're about to discover what you've been missing all these years. Call Clear Choice today. Has Roger got what it takes to get a big promotion? You should be asking me to be the captain. I want you to see me as an authority. <laughs> I'll see in the car. All new. Southern California facing new problems tonight. First, the worst fire season on record. Now it is dealing with flooding and mudslides, and they've turned deadly. At least eight people have died, and authorities fear that toll could go higher. Fox 5's Gary McGrady joins us now with more. Gary. Hey, we hope not. Think about this. You've got all these wildfires. They've burned up everything, and they've also burned a lot of roots that would normally hold all this soil into place. Well, all that's gone, so you get some rain. Soil gets heavier from all the rain, and it just slides down the hill. Mm -hmm. That's what basically happens here. It's been a rough few months for California. You know that heavy rains moved in overnight. Santa Barbara County triggered flooding, mudslides, less flooding, more mudslides. Uh, we're learning that up to eight people were killed, and one of these was a founder of a Catholic school who dedicated his life to helping others. This has been a one-two punch for California. Fires, and then you, uh, less than a month ago, and that, all that scorched land, we talked about this, lost all the crucial vegetation, leaving the hillsides basically bare. The heavy rain comes along, and then just in one night, half of these mountains just kind of come down on everybody. Once the flooding starts, the problem it just continues, and it just escalates. Uh, the soil can't absorb the rain. Now, the, th the residents that are in harm's way here have had to be evacuated. It just seems like all the time, these folks in California are having to be evacuated for one thing or another. Some people actually got stuck in the mudslides. You can see the video here. They started to, uh, to, to the hardest hit areas, Montecito. Uh, it's also, that's in Santa Barbara County. And we're told crews rescued at least eight people from homes there. And among the victim, victims was a 14-year-old girl. Crews rescued her after she became trapped for hours. In rescue operations. And it looks like the heavy rains have washed out roads, down trees, power lines, Bottom line is, it continues to be a mess. You look at social media here, which is always a good indicator of what's going on. Some of the best pictures. Look at how amazing that is. That's after the lady was just rescued here. Uh, and you know what? You continue to get these new videos in, these new pieces from social media. If you follow this, hashtag mudslides, hashtag Ventura, hashtag... A picture right there. I'm going to show you... Just a real quickly radar imagery here will give you an idea. The rain's moving in. Still some heavy rain right now. Hopefully overnight this will subside. But we're still going to have this problem, I think in some cases, right on through the day tomorrow because mm. it won't just stop with the rain. There's a little bit of a, a lingering effect here. Friday, uh, Friday, uh, 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 California gets, uh, they get everything. They get it all. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they get really the fires. Do. They get, I mean, th Drought. this just... Yeah. Goodness gracious. Earthquakes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Rough What's going next, Sue? Something. Yeah. So, uh, you know, all, all I can tell you is uh, Sue's not moving there. <laughs> I'll, I'll visit, but uh, you know what the... F 
I think of all the natural disasters we had this year, that was the most terrifying. Yes, it was. Oh, yes, it was. Followed closely by this, too. Right. right. So, so we so can't. Many people lost their homes. They right. lost everything. Yeah. Makes us grateful that we don't have more to deal with here. Yeah, right? absolutely right. Thank you, wow. Gary. Thanks, Gary. All right, so it was cold, but not quite as cold as we've oh, my it goodness. could have been. How about 51 degrees today? Nice, Shana. bonus. That I mean, was balmy. I will be talking about cherry blossoms in no time if this keeps up. I'm joking. Did you say 51? Yep, 51 It got to today. 51? It did. Wow. Yeah, and followed closely by Dulles and BWI also into the 40s. Wow. But it was a very cold start. Yes, it was. And it will also get cold again tonight. So anything that melted, and hope my sidewalk and driveway was part of it. I know it did get wet. Unfortunately, that if it didn't dry up, it might refreeze again because we are going to see pretty cold temperatures again tonight below freezing. And we also had a lot of very thick fog early this morning as a result of all the moisture around and the warmer air that was coming in aloft. Be aware that could be around again tonight. Uh, we'll be watching that closely for you. On Another thing to know about tomorrow is it's going to be a little less warm than today was. It's likely going to only top out into the low 40s, which is why we're saying it's back to normal. That's where we should be for this time of year. Gary just showed you that very wet system that is uh, pummeling uh, Southern California. Late week showers will be moving in our direction from that system, and it looks like it'll be quite mild. I mean, though we'll be dealing with some rounds of rain that may begin as early bulk of it holds off until Friday. So here is what you can expect the next two days. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, 43 degrees. So not quite as pretty as today, not quite as warm, but not as deep freeze as we have been for much of the previous two weeks. Uh, Thursday, a stray shower, a lot of clouds around, but 56 degrees. So uh, it looks like a nice warm up coming toward the end of the week, that is for sure. And today, not bad at all. We're still at 45 degrees, but we do still have quite a few cool spots north and west. And as mentioned, we do expect temperatures Head down it, below freezing tonight. I want to show you that again because that's probably the most important thing you need to know for. Patchy ice remaining, but wanted to kind of misstep and uh, slip on anything. So we were showing you that a few. And again, the system that produced the mudslides in California, that will be next on deck, but not tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's another chilly start. Temperatures will be in the 20s and 30s as we go through the day and high pressure moves off. We bring uh, but we keep it dry, and then the milder air starts coming into the area for sure as we head on into Thursday. 43 degrees tomorrow, a lot of clouds around, so not as much sunshine. And temperatures to our south will be in the mid-40s. We're going to wrap it up with the Fox 5 Act for Take a look at it here. Uh, 56 on Thursday, 63 Friday with showers, nice and mild. Maybe some rain lingers into Saturday. We're still 54 before we introduce three days that are cooler than average, including the Martin Luther King holiday on Monday with a temperature of 33. I know a lot of you may be off on that day. It'll be chilly Tuesday. Uh, Sean, back to you. Thank you. There are other animals outside and leaving leaving them there for prolonged periods of time. Bell says too many times animals are left out. It for a $250 fine for owners who are first-time offenders and a $500 fine for a second offense. I'm laughing at the dogs. I like dogs. They were having fun. Yeah. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Express yourself. Lawmakers in Maryland and Virginia go back to work for a new year. So what's at stake for you and your wallet? We take a look. And are you still trying to lose weight? Maybe you should follow the rule of 12. We'll explain how it could help you shed those pounds. Plus, actor Matthew Reese, who stars in the new movie The Post, joins the show live. Tomorrow on Fox 5 News Morning. Toyota Highlander is one of Toyota's most versatile SUVs. With plenty of room, available all-wheel drive, and all these advanced safety features come standard on every new Highlander. It's time to reconsider what drives you. Toyota, let's go places. The entire world depends on Metro riders doing their jobs. And at Metro, we are well aware that they depend on us to do ours. We know that before we can regain their trust, we need to restore their service. We are doing that by first getting back to good, then we'll return.